Hello. I'm out here today to test a hammock from One Tigress. I use a lot of One Tigress gear. I really enjoy it. It's good quality stuff and it's never let me down. I have talked to them about making a hammock a while back and now they have. So I'm very excited about testing this product. So I have not even opened it yet. So this is only first impressions and a setup. In a future video, I will surely be using this and letting you know my findings. This spot right here is on a slope. I'm right on a hill. It would be hard to put up a lot of shelters in this area. But with a hammock, you have a lot more options. All you need is two trees that you can put your hammock in between and they're rugged enough to hold you and the right distance apart. That's all you need. So I use a hammock a lot. Very windy out here today and the wind may cut out my voice some. I apologize for that. So right now this shoulder butt pack is a one tigress. I use this a lot. This here is the one tigress water bottle holder and this is the one tigress hammock. Let's break that open. Gonna hang this up. Now let's take a look. So here it is right here in this pouch. I'm gonna leave the specs at the end. Let's open this up. Now we have a carabiner here with a loop. Got some twine. This twine I would say would be for the netting. And another carabiner with a loop. Here's your straps. Well, that's pretty cool. It's a tree hugger style. Wrap that around your tree. It doesn't damage your tree. And then it has your line that you can tie a knot into. And then I would say these must clip into it. I'll ch find out after I get this out. That's pretty cool. Pouch is attached right to the hammock. Okay, this is it. I'm going to fold this all out so you can see how big this is when it's flat. Apparently you have to feed this through and You're going to feed this through the end and then tie it off. I'll show you how you do that. It's uh, 10 feet long, I know that. So it's a pretty big hammock. Let's get to putting the carabiner strap through this and get it done up. So now, you have this loop right here. I'm going to just stick this in and start pulling this all up. When I get this done, I'll be back. So I've got this all done up and just got that through like this. Now all I have to do is put this through like that. That's it. And then pull it tight. And that's going to give me what I need. Now, 
this is a little DIY project. <laughs> but you only have to do it the once when you first get it, and it's good to Here's go. Your straps that goes around the tree. Now you can just put an overhand loop in this and pull it tight and put it around the tree and then have this but it's going to slide up and down the tree and you can hook your carabiner to that although myself I don't do you know my straps like that and a lot of them come that way what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to wrap this around the tree and I'm going to just tie an overhand knot, basically, cinch it up, and then this one, I'll take a bite in the loop and just do this. Now, that is nice and secure to there, but I have a loop that I can pull because that way there it's easy to get off the tree. And now I'm going to do the same thing to that one. And then I can just put this around my carabiner, pull tight to the tension I need, and tie it off. That's what I normally do when I hang my hammocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my line up in through my carabiner and then I'm going to just bring it up through and create a loop. And then I'm going to tie this loop into another overhand knot. That's what I use to secure my hammock. Here's the bug net here. You have two places here, actually three, along this side so you can spread out your bug net and you have two on that side as well. Now as for zippers, Actually, just goes right to there, but the zipper is nice and smooth. Gives you almost full length, but you can spread this out and, and lay in them with the bug net in them. Now, whenever you get in a hammock, you always make sure you have nothing sharp in your pockets and such, so you're not going to cut your hammock. Now, I usually spread this out a lot more than I have here, but these are the two trees that I chose for the setup. So, we're going to try it right here and see how she works. Got to, got to adjust, of course, where it just did. It's going to adjust and so on, but see how she works. They have all kinds of uh, room in this, that's for sure. But this actually is rated for a lot of weight, which I'm very happy for. 
that was a very good idea on their part. So I'm going to get out and we're going to string up this bug net. Now there's many ways that you can hook up this bug net by using these tabs. Although, if you have trees that you can tie to and such, but I'd rather have just one ridge line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together like this and I'm going to run it that way. Just down through and over to that tree. So I only have to use one of these. So I'm going to just tie this one up here somewhere. Like that. And now I'll just start feeding this through and then tie it to the other side. Now that's going to create a little bit of sag right in the middle, but to be honest, it does not bother me. Usually I'm between two trees like this and I don't have other trees to tie to. But I could tie to the two trees, or this tree and that tree, a single tree on one end, put a spacer in between if I like. There's many ways I can do it, but I'm going to try setting it up like this. So what I'm going to have is this here, which still gives me plenty of room in there. But I only need the two trees. Now when you tie these off, you don't have to make them super tight because when you get in your hammock, it's going to sag. You don't want to rip your bug net. So I'm just going to do that to it and tie it off. As you see, this is way up here, it's still not in your face. This will work great. Of course, when you get in, make sure that you don't put your zipper away up the other end that you can't grab it. I'm totally bug free. To set this up, I normally would go with trees that were further apart to make it more basically straight out. So right now, initial impressions, I think it's going to work nice. It's nice and big, and it's a good setup. I like how the straps are. I will probably be doing this with one line because that's my preference, but it's made so you can do it with two for the bug net. But Next thing, I'll be uh, testing it out on the camp out. I'll make a video then. So I'm going to leave the specs at the end so you can go check this out. Thanks a lot for watching.